Hello from Vancouver, Canada. This is what it looks like when you sleep on a sea tray all night. <laughs> you know, on the plane. So you put the seat down in front of you, and actually it's not so bad. It's way worse if you try to sit back in your seat. This is what happens in economy. Um, so anyway, the Vancouver airport is very cool. There's uh, Wi-Fi throughout. I asked the security, where is the sweet spot? And he told me, gate 70. Um, it's really new and fancy, and this isn't where all the gates are. So I'm going to go to Starbucks next, but I wanted to do a quick video on traveling solo, airports, and my current thoughts for the day. Um, it is early here, folks. It is only 8 o'clock, maybe? Anyway, um, I left Kauai, flew to Honolulu, stayed there all day, and then have been sleeping on a seat tray, as we discussed, all night. Okay, so the thing is, um, when you're in an airport that is unfamiliar, I've never been to this one, and you ask people advice, three, four people told me exactly the wrong information. <laughs> so don't always believe the first person. I finally got to the information person, and they told me the great stuff. It was true. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And, um, let's see, I, oh, the other thing I want to talk about is airports, they're so different. Okay, so Vancouver, yeah, this one's good. You could even lay down and take a nap, but I was too charged up about getting to Canada, so I couldn't, so I just took some pictures instead. And I can't make phone calls because I'm in another country, but, um, next stop, China. And then the jewel in the crown, Nepal. Only a two-hour layover in China. So, um, I wanted to talk about uh, people say, oh, that, uh, you know, the adventure and courage about the solo thing. But you know what? Um, courage takes practice. And it feels to me just normal, like... Well, you know what it is? When I first started traveling, I didn't really trust my gut as much as I do now. So if you feel anything off, you trust it. You don't question it. Logic is not final wisdom. So don't ever let yourself be uh, persuaded by logic because your gut feeling is always right. So anyway, um, I'm going to get ready to go to Starbucks. We'll be talking again, either here, since I have so much time before the flight to China, or in China, or Nepal. Namaste. Aloha. See you in the next video. Happy travels.